Miss Guyana, UK. Welcome to Miss Guyana, UK Insight. Miss Guyana, UK is a beauty pageant that has lasted 25 years. Since its first project in 1994, the aim is to promote the rich Guyanese culture and its heritage of six different peoples, Amerindian, African, Indian, Chinese, Portuguese, and European. Let's find out more from the organizers and from some of the contestants themselves about this great organization. Cooking, baking, and photography. Okay. Um, mine would be cooking, basketball, and modelling. Okay. How long have you played basketball? It would be about thirteen years now. Wow. Any sports on your side? Yeah, I guess I do gymnastics for okay. like ten years. So. Nice. <laughs> let's get, let's get, let's get. What's your favourite colour? Yeah. Grey. Grey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Favorite TV TV show? Oh, that's a good one. Big Bang Theory. Really? I say Judge Judy or Family Guy. I feel like that's two different personalities. That is, that's, that's, that's like Yin and Yang. <laughs> <laughs> Judge Judy and, and Family Guy. Yeah, sometimes serious, sometimes. Funny. Wow. Okay. That's good. So you guys feel comfortable? Yeah. Okay. So let's fire off the first one. Um, please tell us your name and a little bit about yourself. So. Okay. Um, my name is Rihanna. I am from background wise Guyanese and Jamaican. Um, I'm currently a student and I study psychology and counselling. I'd say I'm a very people person, always talking, maybe way too much. <laughs> and um, I'm a very creative person. Anything is in the creative arts, I'm 100% into. Okay, that's fantastic. And yourself? Um, my name is Ablavi Savannah Finchale. I'm of Guyanese and Nigerian heritage, and I love both of my cultures. Um, I'm currently an economics um, student at university and I enjoy cooking, baking and photography. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. So how, how has it been taking part in an online pageant? I know because of the pandemic and everything yeah. and mm -hmm. it's online. What, what's it been like for you, um, Ablavi? Um, for me, it's been quite a humbling experience because I've been exposed to the online Guyanese community via social media. And a lot of them provided like encouragement and they were really open to like speaking to me, which was really good. And um, also it was quite surprising because it brought together my family and friends as they all united to support me and my journey and to vote. Wow. I'd say it's very good. <laughs> it's very, uh, very same. I'd say it's very humbling. And also I have been able to connect with my Guyanese family as well. Mm. Um, the support's been unreal, even online from the Guyanese community itself, from um, Miss Guyana UK. It's been so amazing. Mm. And I feel like it's a very challenging, but very fun because you're online. And because of the pandemic, of course, it's online. So it's a different type of experience. You're not face to face with anyone. You're you know, purely going off of what's online and, you know, having to not sell yourself, but display yourself in the best light online. And it's a very different experience, but fun. Wow, it's fun. that's fantastic. What would you like to tell people about Guyana? Um, I'd say, fun fact, Guyana is actually below sea level. <laughs> <laughs> and I just found that very fun. I'm a very geographical person. But, um, and also that it's the only English speaking country in South America, but it's classed as one of the Caribbean region, well, amongst the Caribbean mm. region. So, yeah. What would you like for your, for your, what would you like to say to? Um, I like to tell people that Guyana got its name from the Amerindian people, which translates to the land of many waters. And an interesting fact that I found out is that the Kaicha Falls is the world's largest single drop waterfall. And thanks to Miss Guyana UK, we were able to actually attend the Kaicha Kitchens restaurant opening in London. And we both attended, it was yeah. a great event. And also, so my family are from Bartika and Wakenham in Guyana. Mm -hmm. And although I'm yet to go, I would love to visit and I'm really excited for the big trip. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, next year in 2021, hopefully, if things goes perfectly right, 
and we'll be having a main pageant. Um, are you guys thinking about taking part, and if so, why? 100%. Mm. As I said, it's been a very, we both said it's a very humbling experience, and I yeah. feel like if this is the support we've got just online, I can only imagine what the support and the amount of networking we're going to be able to do in person and the amount of women, beautiful ladies that we'll meet and all the, the people behind Miss Guyana itself and they're, they're much like a family mm. so it's lovely to be part of that family and just to get to know Guyana more, its background and also again bring families together and just you know support a country that I love. Wow, amazing. Would you echo that? Yeah, I agree with what Rihanna said. Like the support so far has been so great, and for the main pageant, I only imagine it can be even better. Um, I'm really excited to go ahead and do the main pageant next year, as I'll be exposed to different areas such as like creative design, walking, public speaking, which I'm excited to do. Okay, um, for. Uh all the young ladies that are outside that are thinking about um, entering a pageant and they're not sure, what are the um, words of encouragement would you like to give them? I'd say if you're thinking about it, go with the thought that made you think about it. Push yourself, even if it's out of your comfort zone, you never know the things that you'll be, you know, welcome to, the confidence it will bring you. If you, you know, you're unsure because you don't know how it's going to be, you don't know anything unless you try. And I definitely think that to get far further in life sometimes you've got to take a risk and yeah go with your gut and just do it it's fun you meet so many new people and it's an experience that is one of a kind wow again i would agree with what she said like it would be so great to learn about other people from different areas of guyana as well and just learn together with the contestants about guyana and the country that we're all from because obviously we'll all have something in common and it will be a great experience at the end of the day, so really and truly, you will have nothing to lose, so I'll say yeah, go for it. What was your friend's reaction when they found out that you actually took part in an online pageant <laughs> and, you know, coming placing where you're placing now, first mm -hmm. and second? Um, what's, what was the response been like for you guys? My friends have been really supportive, like, they're, they're really excited about the whole idea of it being online as well, because um, not many people have heard of the online pageant area but obviously it was a great idea and it was a great um, time everybody came together and supported so it was a really good experience I said the same my friends were very shocked at first as well I'm part of the Caribbean community and uh, Caribbean carnival community sorry so <laughs> I think it was just that extra push it was just something that I needed to tick off the list to do say mm -hmm. that I've done it and I'm doing it um, I felt like yeah family my friends were very shocked but very happy because I was not too sure at the beginning. Again, I was probably someone that was like, maybe, should I? I went for it and I've enjoyed it so far. But yeah, it's been definitely. Do you normally take part in Carnival or not? Do you, do you yes. wear the costumes and stuff? Do yeah. you model for any bands? Yeah, so every year I probably model for at least five bands and wow. on the road I do costumes, yeah. Okay, that's fantastic. Thank you ladies so much. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>
Okay. And uh, a gentleman saw me. I was on my lunch break and came up to me and said, um, asked me my name and then said, um, you know, would I be interested in doing modeling? And I turned and said to him, well, I'm, I don't have the height. He said, um, doesn't matter with your height, but he was just looking at my shape. <laughs> I figured the time. <laughs> and he just liked the way how I dress and how I carried myself. So um, he gave me his card, his number, and I contacted him about a month later or something like that. Mm. And he introduced me to a, a designer, it was an African gentleman, was designing um, clothes. And my first fashion show with him was at the um, Barkers of Kensington. Wow. And that was, that, and from there, that's when it all took off. Wow. It must have been very hard starting up a beauty pageant um, in the beginning of in the early stages. Um, how long has it been um, since the organisation has been uh, around? Um, since 1994, April 1994. Wow. And um, that also, I was a friend of mine who um, I was working with. She told me about a patch, uh, beauty pageant that was kind of that she wanted to take part in, and asked if I would come along, and that was called the Miss Caribbean UK, I think it was, or Miss Black UK mm. back in those days, and I went along with her, and um, she entered, and she came, I think second, second runner up, wow. she and um, and from there, that's when I decided, you know what. I'm going to do a pageant. <laughs> so, um, so it took probably a year or so before then I actually um, organized um, some group of people, uh, which was my sister Tracy Benjamin and some other people we got involved, we come to, got together and put all our resources, pull all our resources in. And that's when we started in Ghana, UK. What was the first? pageant like oh my gosh that <laughs> that was um, that was amazing um, that was held at doggies international in Clapton Wow at that time and it was a roadblock we had police <laughs> had to come and next and um, to close off the roads and to um, stopping people from entry because it was packed mm. packed because, um, you know, Miss Ghana UK, everyone was so excited that that was the first pageant. And um, at that time, a lot of people didn't know much about Guyana. Mm. So it was really interesting. It was something that everybody wanted to be there to see what this pageant was all about. Yeah. So it was one of the best. So throughout its years, I mean, what's been the highlight for you? Or do you I, have one or do you have several highlights? I, well... I would say I have several, but I think the, the most highlight one would be um, at um, Caesars okay. in 1995 and 1996. Wow. That was, that was another great... What made it so special? It was special, um, the girls and the people, and you see, with Miss Guyana UK, it attracts so different diversity. Mm -hmm. And it sees us, it was just of the, the building, the sculpture, the layout of it, it was just perfect. Wow. I know throughout, it, throughout its history that um, the pageant didn't take place in, in one certain year, I can't remember what year it was, I think it was 2018, it didn't happen, or was it 2017? The last pageant before the online one was when? 2016 um, was it? Um, 2016. 2016. So, and then during that time, was it because you decided to take a break, a little break from it, or? Um, at that time, my sister Tracy was running that time, okay. and then I wasn't in the country. I was in Guyana mm -hmm. during those time in 2016, 17. So I wasn't here. Right. So okay. she was um, running that right. pageant. And now that you're you're back and um, you've. We branded yourself. I mean, you got a brand new logo. 
yes. from the from the previous one. You have a brand new team behind you as well. Yes, that's correct. Um, what due to the pandemic, of course, we we had organised a uh, beauty pageant to happen to celebrate the twenty fifth anniversary this year in June. But due to unfortunate unfortunate uh, circumstances, it didn't happen. So the uh, your team decided to have an online beauty pageant. Um, what what was your thoughts behind that? I mean, being so used to having that face to face pageantry and now switching to to online, what was all, how has it been for you? Well, that that was a good um, good um, gesture as well because um, we did do an online in two thousand and twelve. Hmm. Um, online uh, pageant which we had an online queen and um, that went that was quite a good um, that was quite a good um, move as well that we did make we made while we did the online queen we also had the show oh. so then um, but we didn't announce the queen on the day that we did the show but we did, they were aware of that so we did the presentation the following week after the pageant Right. with the online queen and also um, with the winners we did a presentation where we hand out some more um, prizes the following week after that right um, next year is going to be 2021 um, hopefully you know things turn out to be good better um, what what are the sort of things to look out for in the pageant for next year well we are hoping, depending on how, what the situation is going to be, whether um, venue-wise, um, we don't know what's going to happen with um, the capacity, the number of people, what you will be allowed to do, what you're not going to be allowed to do. So at this present time, it's, it's kind of difficult to say what the outcome would be. Um, which I'm hoping and we will look forward to do the show next year because um, a lot of people are looking forward to that. Mm. Um, if not, then we'll have to think of something else, maybe with the online or virtual or whatever. We have to look at that. But um, we're hoping that next year we can get the show on the road. Of because <laughs> they are waiting patiently <laughs> <laughs> to... Um, have to come on and sit down and watch the girls and you know and at the end of it to have their new Miss Guyana UK yeah, Queen of course and to show off that we've got a Queen you know but that's how Guyanese people are they love their beauty pageant mm -hmm. and um, they look forward to that every year yeah and there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. I mean, there's lots of rehearsals and stuff. I mean, oh, yeah, yes. It's it's a lot of hard work and, um, you know, a lot of, you know, you do have your ups and downs. You do have, um, you know, little um, tweet interference in between, things like that. You know, you know, you have things, sometimes you go, it will be right. You plan everything, organize everything, then on the night, you know, you have something goes wrong, but this is what happens. This, you know, you got to be prepared for that. Of course. You know, so um, these are things. But on the whole, yes, there is a lot of work that goes into it. Um, planning the preparation, mm -hmm. the organizing, and getting the girls them ready. Um, sponsors mm -hmm. and that, you know, because the girls themselves have to have sponsors because of um, you find that it can be very um, expensive, can be very costly because we have three categories in within the Miss Guyana UK. You have the traditional wear, which represent the six races of Guyana, right. and then we do the swimwear and the evening wear. And with the evening section, it you know everyone wants to look their best and look their part. So that in itself, a gown can work, can be up depending on what is it they really want to wear and how they want to look. You can two, three, four hundred, five hundred pounds. Wow. A lot of money. So, yeah. <laughs> Especially in these times. Um, 
Is there, do you have any final words that you would like to tell the supporters of Misguided UK and of course your, your team? Um, what would you like to say to them? Well, all I would like to say, um, you know, over the years, um, we I like to thank the people that's been supporting us and to continue asking them to still continue supporting the Miss Ghana UK pageant. And, um, you know, especially for the girls, the young ladies, because there are many of them who has never um, been into doing pageant, pageantry. There are some of them don't know much about Guyana and when they come into the pageant, pageantry in the Miss Ghana UK, they learn so much mm. about the Guyanese heritage and their culture. And, um, you know, and for my team, uh, I have a wonderful team now and, you know, I just want them to be on board and continue supporting and working and, you know, let us all work together and produce a good show when the time comes and, um, you know, we take it from there and we work with the contestants and um, we give them the support as well and also we, you know, inviting sponsors to come on board and, um, you know, like when we have our meetings or we have different, when the girls are out there, you know, to come along and speak with the girls and also to speak with the organizers and see what happens, see where we go from there. Well, Felicia, thank you so much. And we look forward for the pageant in 2021. Yeah, thank you. We look forward to seeing everyone there next year. <laughs> <laughs>